Paul Goodman's Five Years, Thoughts During a Useless Time offers a series of reflections and meditations that explore the disillusionment of the 1970s, a period Goodman viewed as one of societal stagnation and political failure. Written with a sense of personal frustration and introspection, Goodman examines the ways in which social structures, cultural norms, and political developments had seemingly failed to foster genuine human fulfillment and integrity. This work is not organized as a straightforward narrative or essay but as a fragmented series of reflections that echo the period's sense of uncertainty and cynicism, as well as Goodman's own frustrations with the state of the world and himself. Goodman's discontent with society comes through powerfully in his observations about the emptiness of contemporary political discourse. He argues that the political landscape has become increasingly artificial, driven more by a desire for control and image than by meaningful action. Politicians, in Goodman's view, have sacrificed authenticity for power, and the resulting stagnation in governance has left citizens with little hope for real progress. He expresses disappointment at a lack of visionary leadership, which, he believes, has stifled the pursuit of genuine social change. In this respect, Goodman's criticisms reflect a broader sentiment of the 1970s, marked by disillusionment with government and skepticism of authority. Alongside his critique of politics, Goodman is equally concerned with the state of culture and its effects on the individual psyche. He sees modern culture as overly commercialized and superficial, a system that prioritizes consumerism over human connection. This cultural criticism reveals his conviction that society has become alienated from values that truly nourish the spirit. He criticizes the media and entertainment industries for promoting hollow experiences, believing that such influences distract individuals from confronting deeper personal and social issues. Goodman's observations resonate with his existential concerns, as he worries that people, caught in the web of superficial pursuits, are losing touch with their own authentic selves. At the core of five years is Goodman's belief in the importance of personal responsibility and moral action. He argues that individuals must resist complacency, even if society fails to offer paths to meaningful change. For Goodman, passivity is a betrayal of human potential, and he advocates for active engagement with one's values and principles. While he acknowledges the challenges of pursuing an authentic life in a society resistant to change, he suggests that individual acts of integrity and courage are essential to resisting the status quo. This emphasis on personal responsibility is a consistent theme in Goodman's work, reflecting his background in anarchist thought and his belief in the power of self-determination. In addition to political and cultural critique, Goodman's reflections often turn inward, addressing his own sense of purpose and dissatisfaction. He contemplates the limitations of his own achievements and wonders about the extent of his impact as a writer and thinker. This self-reflection gives five years an intimate and confessional quality, as Goodman grapples with his own doubts and sense of uselessness in a world that appears resistant to change. His reflections on failure and the difficulty of personal fulfillment are poignant, exposing his vulnerability and the complex interplay between his ideals and the reality he perceives. Yet despite this pervasive sense of frustration, Goodman does not completely surrender to despair. His writing suggests that, while societal change may be elusive, the pursuit of truth and authenticity remains valuable. Goodman acknowledges the possibility of moments of connection, self-knowledge, and insight that, however fleeting, can provide a sense of meaning. For Goodman, these moments are not necessarily grand or revolutionary, rather, they are the subtle yet powerful instances of clarity that one can experience in everyday life. He implies that, even in times that feel useless, there is still the potential for personal growth and understanding. Five Years ultimately reads as both a critique of society and an examination of Goodman's own sense of purpose. His reflections are tinged with both resignation and resilience, capturing the complexity of his feelings about a world he finds flawed but in which he remains determined to find moments of genuine meaning. Through his critique of politics, culture, and himself, 
Goodman reveals his enduring belief in the possibility of personal integrity, even if broader change seems out of reach. <laughs>